your Ream Stellar Gas water heater, there is a small pilot flame that should remain alight at all times. This small flame lights the main burner whenever water in the tank needs heating. If you can't get hot water, it may be because the pilot flame has gone out and thus there is no way for the main burner to be relit. This could occur for a number of reasons, such as strong winds, gas maintenance work carried out in the street or an empty LPG cylinder. Today, we'll show you the safe, correct way to relight your gas water heater. As you'll see, it's quite easy. However, it's vital that you follow this procedure exactly to prevent a buildup of gas, which, if ignites, can cause serious injury. Before beginning, ensure all flames and ignition sources, including cigarettes and lighters, are kept well away from the area. First, remove the access cover. The instructions for relighting are clearly laid out inside this cover. It's important to ensure there are no gas leaks. This is best done by simply smelling for gas, especially down near floor level where gas can accumulate. If you smell gas, turn the gas control knob to the off position. Shut off the isolation valve in the gas line, leave the area and call for a qualified service technician. Once you have confirmed there are no gas leaks, turn the gas control knob fully clockwise to the off position. You should feel the control knob click into the off position. Do not use tools to turn the knob. If you cannot turn the knob by hand, call a service technician or licensed gas fitter. It's vital at this point that you wait five minutes for any unburnt gas to escape. If you do not wait the full five minutes, residual gas may ignite and cause serious injury. Once five minutes has elapsed, we are ready to light the pilot using the igniter button. You must remember that this button produces a spark that will ignite any gas that is nearby. This is why it's so important that you turn the control knob to off and wait five minutes for gas to dissipate before every time you use the igniter button. Before you proceed with relighting, you must check if the pilot indicator needle is in the red zone. If it's not, you must call for a service visit. Next, turn the control knob to the pilot position. This is the symbol that looks like a starburst. Depress the control knob fully with your left hand and keep holding the knob down to allow sufficient gas to flow to the pilot light. While keeping the control knob down, press the igniter button 10 times with your right hand or until the needle in the pilot indicator starts to move from the red zone to the green zone. At this point, the pilot is alight. It's important that you hold the control knob down until the needle of the pilot indicator is in the green zone for the pilot light to establish itself. You can now release the control knob. Once the control knob is released, check the pilot indicator needle remains in the green zone. If the pilot indicator needle does not move to the green zone within 60 seconds, it's vital that you turn the gas control knob to the off position and call for a service visit. If the needle moved to the green zone but returned to the red zone, turn the control knob to the off position and once again, wait five minutes for gas to disperse. Once five minutes is up, begin the pilot lighting process again from the start back where we turn the control knob from the off position to the pilot position. Once the pilot is alight, it's important for your safety that you ensure your face is nowhere near the combustion chamber opening. Now, turn the control knob anti-clockwise to number 6. This will allow the main burner to light whenever the water needs heating. When the main burner lights up, it can be a little noisy for the first 2 to 5 seconds. This is perfectly normal. It will very soon settle down to a quiet flame. You can now replace the access cover. As you can see, it's a straightforward procedure, but does need to be followed exactly. Turn the control knob to off. Wait five minutes for gas to disperse. 
Check if the pilot indicator needle is in the red zone. Now turn the control knob to pilot. Press the control knob down. Press the igniter 10 times. Check if the pilot indicator needle has started to move towards or into the green zone. Keep holding the control knob down until the pilot indicator needle is in the green zone. Release the control knob. Check if the pilot indicator remains in the green zone. If yes, pull your face away and turn the control knob to 6. Remember, if at any time during the lighting process the pilot indicator needle is not in the correct position, turn the gas control to off and wait 5 minutes before starting again. If you're unsure of the lighting process or the burner does not light as expected, call Ream Service on 131 031. Thank you for watching and we hope you enjoy many more years of safe, steady hot water.